In the street, Citigroup initiating on airline stocks with a buy rating for Delta, United, and Spirit Airlines and a sell on American Airlines. Spirit is the biggest laggard so far this year of that group. It's down more than 30 percent. The firm naming Delta as its top pick, saying the company screens attractively on revenue diversity. Delta shares are higher by 1.4 percent. Meantime, Bank of America downgrading booking holdings to a neutral with a $2,160 price target. This is the former Priceline.com. Firm citing negative signals into the fourth quarter, headwinds in Asia, and competition, among other reasons. And J.P. Morgan Chase doubling down on its call on GE. They maintain an underweight rating, basically a sell, and get this, a $5 price target on GE. Now, J.P. Morgan saying that while there is no single smoking gun issue with the company, it still shows a situation that is, quote, far from low risk, and stability is more then discounted. Now, GE, Karen, $10.35 stock. So J.P. Morgan Chase is saying it will fall by more than half. What do you think? Right. Well, you have to remember the debt. So it's not actually more than half when you talk about the whole enterprise value. So I actually, way back, was when, Brian, when Larry Cope first got in, I thought, all right, maybe there's a chance he can turn it around. And so I have a leap position. I figured I'd rather own it higher in the future and how you know so i have a 13 strike leap figuring that if they start to make headway then you'll there'll be this virtuous cycle they'll be able to pay down debt they'll be able to get a better multiple and i'd rather own it higher yeah and, actually and, and it's going to turn out i'm not going to own it at all for our viewers <laughs> who maybe you know this is leap is a long-term yeah. options bet that's exactly. what you're you're making a long maybe a multi-year right not like the Nigerians, like, tomorrow the stock's yeah. going to whatever. This is a multi-year thing. Yes, although now it's aging like we all are, but it's just a number. <laughs> but so it's going to expire in January, and I think my chances of actually having it be in the money are quite low. So I think, you know, gee, it's a bold call, and um, they got a lot of wood to chop to get through that debt. And I, I, maybe it'll happen, but... I know what my risk is. My, my leaps are going to zero, I think, come January. Hey, sometimes it happens, you what know? Can you do? What can you do? Oh, you're clearly not wildly bullish on GE either. So no, you, got, I, you yeah, know, put it on to find my risk. My risk was all the premium. All right.